would sit there in the sun, not only would sit in it, we cover ourselves with oil. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Dave Arlen on holidays and holiday resorts. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you very much and good evening. Uh, we are fast approaching a period of the year when the holiday brochures will be dropping into your house by the bucketful. Have you ever listened to them come in? <laughs> Sounds exactly like a cow shitting through your letterbox. <laughs> and brochures, they're always the same, aren't they? They always have the sun, the setting sun. I'm sure it's the one setting sun. No matter where you go in the world, it's the one setting sun. I've seen it all over the place. There's a church, there's a fat flamenco dancer <laughs> with the castanets of the ready. Black hair and big tits and a huge belly. And a toothless cretin with a guitar standing beside her. <laughs> There's always pictures of hotels and villas and condominiums. It's so true the way they used to be. I remember me growing up, they used to be travel agents. I'm not sure they stay travel agents today. Because now if I'm traveling, I just go online, go to booking.com, Expedia, Skyscanner. I guess so myself. But back in the day, in the late 2010s, Late no, early twenty two thousands, early twenty tens. I remember not no, no mid early twenty tens, late two thousands. Yeah, I remember every time we were traveling, going holiday. I remember my mom and dad literally having to go into the travel agents, ask questions and all that. I remember I'd be walking past the travel agent store. I'd be looking at the, all the little uh, signs and everything of different places. This would be so cool. Now it's so crazy how time changes. Wow, sorry, just no, nostalgia. Thank you. Ooh. Lush pools, swimming pools, surrounded by the lovely people, decorating them. You see, they're all <laughs> drinking, laughing, smiling. <laughs> all young. You've never seen an oldie there, have you? Never seen an old one there? <laughs> you don't see any varicose veins, pot bellies, ball hats, drooping tubes around. Them. <laughs> Have you ever looked at that young? There's no, there's no, there's no fat on, there's not an ounce of fat, there's not a stretch mark, there's not one lump of cellulite between the lot of them. They're all sitting there, all, all happy and wonderful. The Coast Guard, you see the Coast Guard? Bronze, the Donna's figure, about to kiss, give the kiss of life to a pair of smiling breasts. <laughs> And there's always that miserable old lady, that black clad lady on a donkey. <laughs> Octogenarian on her way to the market. What is she bloody buying? Poison for Christ's sake? <laughs> and the chef, the friendly chef, it's with the morning catch of salmonella and botulism. <laughs> you seen those bastards? They're always hairy. Have you noticed that? They always have a hat and a red handkerchief and a vest. And hair, right down their arms and up on the inside of their arms. I don't know whether it's coming from the hand up or the armpit down. But he's a chef, for Christ's sake. It's an extraordinary images that they, they, they keep on creating. Greek islands, there's always the happy taverna. People pouring down. Who's up? Who's up? See a local drink that shit, do you? <laughs> They're all drinking scotch and water and porter from Ireland. <laughs> picture of them throwing down the user. What it should be is a picture of them throwing up the user. <laughs> <laughs> and this madness we have to get in the sun. They all do it. 50 years of the week. 50 weeks. 50 years of the week. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> 50 weeks in a year, we keep our body under wraps. Two weeks we go out, woof, we're into it. The sun, not for five or 10 or 15 minutes, which is sensible, hours. We sit there in the sun, not only we sit in it, we cover ourselves with oil. You can hear people sizzling. You can pop the blister, here comes another one. Wind 
Windsurfing. What about that? Windsurfing. What sort of a crap exercise is that? <laughs> Eight hours in the sea, endeavouring to try to climb onto a capsized board with a sail and... Jesus! Oh I broke my nails, I was red raw. I came out looking like a lobster that's had a kind of nervous breakdown. <laughs> and water ski, I'm a niece. Somebody takes water ski. So I get in the water, my little jacket on, put my feet in these skis, lie on your back, hold the rope, and off we go. And he goes, I cannot get up. I am down like this. And he's doing 40 miles around the Bay of Biscay. Put my ass in the water. is doing a filter job for the Mediterranean. <laughs> 40 mile an hour anemone. <laughs> and I'm thinking, are we mad? What? And people said, what about a bungee jump? <laughs> what? He said, a bungee jump. I said, what's a bungee jump? I don't know what a bungee jump was. And he said, well, you climb up to the top of this tower, it's about 120, 150 feet high, put a rubber rope around you, and you just dive off. <laughs> is, it, is this compulsory? <laughs> so, no, you do it out of your own. I say, you're out of your mind. What about <laughs> Can you imagine the G you go through when you hit the bottom? There's about eight pounds of blood in your head. Your eyes are completely. <laughs> You'd certainly crap yourself on the way down, wouldn't you? How do you pass that crap coming down on the way up? Bungee jumping is something I don't know what I ever do. Bungee jumping, skydiving, things like that. I don't know. I would. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I have to be in the mood. I have to be in the mood. And something that I would do like that. I don't, like, I wouldn't want to think about it for too long. I wouldn't want to say, oh, I'm doing, I'm doing it next week. Like, on the day, I'm like, okay, let's do it. It's just scary. It could go really well or it could go really bad. You can't go half and half. You can't be like, oh yeah, it was all right, but then I, it's, it's either it's really good or it's really bad. Yeah? Have you guys done? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you. <laughs> well, there's, a, there's a kind of image we have of ourselves too. You go on a holiday. You see yourself as you see the brochure. When I go abroad, and I'm walking down the beach, I don't see myself as a middle-aged, grey-haired, old wrinkly. I see myself as Mr. Cool. Yeah, or bronze. And I'm thinking, somewhere out here, there's a female who wants this body. I go to the discotheque with that strobe lighting. UV lighting, have too much to drink, and I find her, this little creature in blue, and we dance the night, and I wake up in this room in the morning, and I have no idea where I am, and I'm looking at the ceiling trying to figure it out, and I'm thinking, what did I do last night, and then it all comes flooding back, hey, you picked up that dolly little bird, in the disco. And I turn over and the first thing I see is a set of teeth in a glass. <laughs> and I recognize her immediately. She's the black clad octogenarian old lady on the way to the mall. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. And I'm lying there thinking, Jesus, did I do it? Oh Christ, did I? Oh I did, didn't I? I did, I remember doing it. And then I think at least I put a condom on, I did that. And as I got out of bed I saw it on my toe. Fuck you, no. Jesus, he paints a picture, doesn't he? Absolutely paints it for you. What a guy, legend. I'm really enjoying this guy, literally. I'm really enjoying reacting. If you want to see more Dave Valley, you know what to do. Comment down below. Subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. I post every single day at 6 o'clock, so there's more to come. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.